hot one out there today. Chris Spears joins us now. And Chris, this sort of heat doesn't usually happen this time of year, right? Yeah, not to this degree, not covering the territory that it is covering. I have a map. I'll show you that here in just a minute. 88 at the airport and downtown. Wind is light out of the northeast at 7 and skies are mostly sunny across the city. Our weather watcher Robert Peck out in northwestern Arvada. 85 degrees. We are already 90 in Fort Collins, 92 in Greeley and uh, Jewel Sydney, 90 in Julesburg. Look at all the 90s popping up here now on the eastern plains out west. We're closing in on 90 uh, in the Grand Valley and up in Meeker. It is 88 in Boulder, 78 in Vail and 79 in Lake City. Here's that map I was talking about. Uh, one of the strongest high pressures we've ever documented this late in the season sitting over the western United States. So that is why we're using the term historic heat wave. It stretches from California to Colorado and we're not in the hottest part of this high. It's even hotter to our west. Denver could set a new record tomorrow on Wednesday on Thursday. If we were to hit 100, it would be the latest 100 in our record, and we continue to climb the list of most 90 degree readings. In fact, today is going to be the 61st time this season we hit 90. We'll be in third place. Tomorrow we'll set a new third place as we stay in the 90s. Very little relief today from Mother Nature. High pressure is a sinking motion in the atmosphere that is not good for developing clouds. We'll see a few over the higher elevations and maybe a few showers in that southwestern corner, but most of the state is going to stay dry and hot, not only today, but through the majority of the week ahead. A little relief on the way. We'll look at that here in a moment. The record for the day to 101. We're going for upper 90s here in Denver. We may see a couple of 100s out on the northeastern plains and out on the western slope. Widespread 80s in the high country, Steamboat, Estes Park, Vail, all the way down to Gunnison and Pagosa. Even those higher altitude locations well into the 80s and low 90s. We'll do uh, 98 again tomorrow. I want to bring up the statewide temperature map. I think we'll probably see a little bit more in the way of 100s around the state tomorrow, especially on the northeastern plains. Wednesday still hot, Thursday still hot. Here's what's going to happen on Friday. Uh, a little bit of a saving grace for us as we drop back to 80 degrees, Marissa. I am going to walk over here and pull this five day forecast back up. I mistakenly got rid of it. It's too good not to show you. Let's pull it up here. Uh, so Friday, I mentioned the high of 80 degrees. Look at Saturday, 77 potentially coming up for uh, the Denver area. That's going to be about a 25 degree drop as compared to those highs today. You know, traditionally in Colorado, we shut the pools down yeah. on Labor Day. Right. Let's hope some of these pool operators will keep it open for this hot weather. I'm hoping that they can keep it open because after this, I'm going to try to go get into a pool. Sounds you know, it like, sounds like it's going to be a hot couple of days. Sounds like a plan. Thank you so much, Chris. Sure. The Arvada Center is opening its season with a fun.